Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. Just want to chat with y'all and I want to talk with y'all. I want to spread some harsh truth. You know, you know what I mean? And, and, and it's not really like all companies, but I just want to give y'all the harsh, tr the harsh truth. I just want to be brutally honest with y'all. Some of y'all may get pissed off if you do. Oh, whoa, but at the end of the day, this is the truth, and I'm just being brutally honest. I be brutally honest because I care about y'all. I care about y'all well-being, and I know a lot of people are in bad health because of this. But what I want to discuss with y'all is that when it comes down to working a 9-to-5 job, working for a company... It doesn't make a difference what you do. You could work at a grocery store. You could work at a call center. You could work at a restaurant, whatever. And there's nothing wrong about it. Ain't nothing wrong about having a job. Do what you got to do to make you some money. Do what you got to do to provide. But at the end of the day, the company does not really care much about its employees. They, they, they just don't. Your supervisor more than likely probably don't even care much about your well-being. At the end of the day, the company at the end of the day, the company mainly just cares about making more money. At the end of the day, if you were to pass away, the company would still be in business. The company would still be in, in good business if you were to pass away, but yeah, when it comes down to working a 9 to 5, the company does not really care much about your well-being. And your supervisor probably don't really care much about your well-being. And like I said, it's not all companies, but I would say like majority of these companies are like that. Like I be telling y'all, you can do whatever it is that you want to do. You can make money doing what you want to do. You don't have to live your whole life on this earth living out someone else's dream. Life is too short for that. You don't have to live your whole life on this earth working a job that you don't even love. Life is too short for that. You can just be you. But yeah, I also know that a lot of people are in bad health because, you know, they work in a job. They work in a job. They work in super hard, still struggling to afford a lot of stuff. They work a full time nine to five. Some people work a full time nine to five and they still be struggling to get their bills paid. And a lot of people are like in bad health, dealing with high blood pressure, diabetes. It's all because that job that they work in is so stressful. They hate the job thinking that that's what they're really here on this earth to do. No, no, you're here on this earth to to be happy. You're here on this earth to do what you want to do. You think that's the way the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ wants you to live your life? No, that is not the way God wants you to live your life. But you see, when we go to school for 12 years, we get programmed, brainwashed, and lied to. They just stuff in all this information in us. And then it's like when you were a kid, when you're not interested in the stuff that they're teaching you, they try to make it feel like it's a bad thing when... When in reality, when you graduate, when you finish school, a lot of that stuff that they taught you in school, you don't even use it no more. So, now I'm not saying that it's okay for a student to just be lazy, not do their work at all, and just fail. Absolutely not. You still got to try your best, but... I know how it is when you're bored in the classroom, you got to listen to the teacher talk. The teacher may catch you not paying attention, and then while she's teaching, she may even mention your name. Like, yeah, I mean, there, there's you're not supposed to be locked up and caged up in school. With them telling you that you were a failure, with them telling you that you were a bad student, because, like, you could be a student that's well-behaved, but you get bad grades. Same thing, you could be a student that 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 that's not well-behaved, you misbehave, you get ISS every day, but your grades be on point. See, but at the end of the day, you're not supposed to be locked up and caged up in school. You know, this is the reason why you got teenagers that deal with suicidal thoughts that deal with depression that deal with trauma just because of school and i'm pretty sure a lot of people deal with it because of the company that they work for they work a nine to five job they work for a company that doesn't even care about them but yeah again i'm just being brutally honest i'm being brutally honest sometimes the truth is is, is harsh but at the end of the day 
if I didn't care about y'all, I wouldn't be so brutally honest. I, I do these videos, especially this video, is because I care about y'all. I have faith in y'all, and I know how it is. You know, having the people around you telling you that the only way you can make a living is by working a job that you don't even love. No, that is not the case. And you know that's not the case. I know how that is. I've been in that situation plenty of times. I've been in situations where, where when I was a kid in school where I had dreams with the teachers... You know, like, you know, like, where they, where they kind of like, because before I wanted to do music, before I wanted to do rap, before I wanted to do YouTube, I wanted to be a football player. And you see, you know, of course, they always like to tell you that if you don't behave, that if you don't get good grades, you won't be able to play sports. Like, I really have a story to tell. I mean... My senior year of high school, I became a straight-A student. I got the academic endorsements with my diploma, but you see, I didn't want to play sports no more. And this is something else that I'm going to be brutally honest about. The term student-athlete, the coaches say you become a student first, then an athlete. Me, me, on the other hand, keep your grades up in order to play the sport that you love. The term student-athlete, and this is no disrespect, but the term student athlete, at the end of the day, that that right there is just, to me, it's, it's kind of like a stereotype. My six years of playing football, I've seen a lot of stuff. I've heard a lot of stuff. I've seen stuff with my own two eyes, and I've heard stuff with my own two ears. I've, I've been, you know, my, my years of playing football, I mean, I mean, and, 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 and even to this day, I, I know it for a fact. So, some some of them guys, it don't make a difference if they play football, it don't make a difference if they play basketball, it don't make a difference if they play baseball, soccer. Some of them guys, just because of the sport they play, is the only reason they come to school. They know that with a lot of the stuff that they be learning in the classroom don't really have nothing to do with the sport they play. For example, they could like be... They could be on the football team. They could be talking about football during algebra. And the teacher may be like, football players use math. But you see, like, in other words, the teacher is going to be like, football don't got nothing to do with what we got to discuss. See? And you see, same thing in football practice. You know, your coach will be like, algebra don't got nothing to do with what we, with, with, with what we need to do in order to win this championship. See, and again, this is no disrespect. I'm not trying to be negative or anything, but I'm really just being brutally honest. I'm being brutally honest. I'm just speaking some harsh truth with y'all. I want y'all to take care of yourselves, and I want y'all to be the best versions of yourselves. I want y'all to not give up on yourselves. You know, I know, you know, like y'all haven't gave up on me and I'm not going to let y'all give up on y'all selves. Y'all can do it. Y'all can do something bigger. Y'all can do something better. You can live a life where you're happy. You can live a life doing what you want to do. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. <clears throat> but yeah, I just wanted to share this video with y'all. Be brutally honest with y'all to let y'all know that. These companies don't really care nothing about your well-being. So if you somebody out there that wants to be a boss, if you work in a job that you hate, do what you got to do to provide. But also do what you got to do and be consistent with it so you no longer got to work that 9 to 5. Like I be telling y'all over and over again, and I know y'all may get tired of me saying this, but consistency is definitely a key. And I mean that. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, love y'all.